the launch. Your best chance to sell a significant number of copies in one place at one time, the launch or the release party. There are two reasons for this. One, if people are there, they're there directly and explicitly in support of you. And two, if people go to a book launch, they go with the expectation of buying a copy. A successful launch feels great without question. It's fun, it's positive, it's validating. And even if the book never sells another copy, it's a moment to really feel good about what you've accomplished and a way of reminding yourself that writing and books matter to others and always will. So what are some things you can do to ensure a successful launch? Well, virtually no matter what you do, it's a bit of a crapshoot. Since you can have 100 people assure you they're going to come and still have only 15 people show, However, there are certain things you can do to try to make the most of it. The first is to tell everyone. You only really have three justifiable opportunities to blast everyone in your network with news about your book. First, when you announce its release. Second, when you invite them to the launch. And third, if something truly big happens, like you win an award or Steven Spielberg calls you to option the movie rights. Beyond these key opportunities, people will start to get a bit weary of hearing about your book. There's nothing wrong with being broad about the invitation list for your launch. You have a core group of people you expect to show, your close family and friends, and then hopefully people from the other concentric circles of your network too. In the second circle, there's regular acquaintances, people you see regularly but not as much as your core group, and then the third is everybody else. Another thing you can do is think about a place you can hold the event that's fun or interesting or different or unusual or surprising or somehow memorable. Obviously, this depends a lot on your budget. If the budget is zero and your grandparents say they'd be happy for you to use the downstairs function room in their condo, that may be just a ticket, and I'm not saying don't do it. But sometimes places will be willing to grant you space for a pretty low cost, especially on off times like a Monday evening, for example, which is for them probably a sunk cost time anyway. But for a book launch, it's not a bad time at all. That's the kind of pitch you can make to these places. Since the space would normally be pretty empty anyway, you're offering to hold an event that will bring people through the doors. Maybe you can strike a deal where they keep anything spent at the bar and you just take the money spent on the books or something like that. My point is don't restrict yourself at all when it comes to where you might hold your launch. Think out of the box and have some fun with it. 